students from Loudoun County, Richard Montgomery, and Eleanor Roosevelt meet today on It's Academic! Hello everybody, I'm Hillary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic, now in its 60th season and brought to you as it has been for more than 50 years by Giant Food. We are so glad you're with us and of course it's time to meet the teams. We begin with Loudoun County High School from Leesburg, Virginia. What's up, Caroline? I'm a 17-year-old senior and I wanted to thank all the teachers and staff for supporting us as students and as an academic team during this wild time. It's a little wild. Hello, Max. I'm a 17-year-old junior, and I'd like to thank our alternate, Quinn Griffin. Cameron, tell us about yourself. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I'm on the swim team. And I'd like to thank our outstanding coach, Mrs. Hefty, for always putting up with our crazy. <laughs> okay, very good. In this round, guys, the opening round, questions are worth 20 points. There is nothing off for a wrong answer. And we begin. Using one word from each column, you can name what site where the opening shots of the Civil War were fired? Fort Sumter. Fort Sumter it is. Into the blank, where the blank things are. Fill in the blanks here with what same word to complete book titles by John Krakauer and Maurice Sendak? Wild. Wild. Wild is right. Reno Gent. Whether you like Reno or Las Vegas, please rearrange the letters here to name what German physicist who discovered x-rays and was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1901. Röntgen. You are right. Piranha, anaconda, tarantula. During the Civil War, the North adopted a war plan named for which of these creatures which squeezes its victims to death? Anna anaconda. Anaconda is correct. No blame can be laid at my door. With these words, what British king tried escaping responsibility for the loss of the American colonies? King George. Yes, it was King George. Well done, Loudoun County. You got those all right. 200 points. Time to meet the team from Richard Montgomery High School in Rockville, Maryland. Abhinav, it's great to see you. I'm a 17-year-old senior. I'd like to thank our wonderful co-sponsors, Dr. McDonald, who's a math and economics teacher, and Ms. Gallen, who's a math teacher. Justin, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am also I'm a senior at RM, and I would just like to thank you guys for putting on this show. And finally, hello, Gus. So I'm a junior, and I'd like to thank uh, Amanda, our alternate for this game. Beautiful. Well, it's time to begin your opening round. Here's the first question, Richard Montgomery. Select one word from each column, and you get what nickname? given to the historic ship, the USS Constitution. Old Ironsides. Ironsides. Yeah. Old Ironsides. Old Ironsides, final answer. Yes, that's it. The Winter's Blank, a blank of two cities. Please fill in the blanks here with what same word to get titles of works by Shakespeare and Charles Dickens. Tail. Tail. Yes, it is tail. Nice. Minus trot. You'll be on the plus side here if you rearrange the letters to name what element with chemical symbol SR? Strontium, Strontium. right? Yeah. Strontium, final. Strontium is correct. Lexington, Worcester, Springfield. The opening battle of the Revolutionary War took place in which of these Massachusetts towns? Lexington. Lexington, Lexington final answer. Lexington it is. If we knew he wanted to be a dictator, we would have made him an umpire. A baseball player made this comment about what teenager who hung around spring training camps in Havana, but later scored as dictator of Cuba until 2008. Probably Castro. Fidel Castro. Castro, final answer. Yeah, it's Castro. Well done, Richard Montgomery. You've got 200 points. And now we get to meet the team from Eleanor Roosevelt High School in Greenbelt, Maryland. Hello, Abigail. I notice you've got your tree up. And, and in case people are wondering, we did film this in December. But Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Abigail. I'm a 16-year-old junior from Eleanor Roosevelt High School. And I'm a part of our school's Junior Classical League and our Latin Honor Society. Wonderful. So glad that you're here. Ryan, tell us about yourself. I'm a 16-year-old junior at Eleanor Roosevelt High School, and I'm in the school band and swim team. And finally, Michael. I'm a 13-year-old freshman. I'm currently in the school's robotics 
team. Wonderful. Really good to see you. And here's your first question, Eleanor Roosevelt. Take one word from each column, and you'll name what spot whose wartime shelling inspired Francis Scott Key to write our national anthem. Um, conferring. It's Fort McHenry, right? But it says take one word from each. Come yeah. Here. I confer. Fort McHenry is right. That's correct. Blank shift, long day's journey into blank. Please fill in those blanks here with what same word to complete the titles of works by Stephen King and Eugene O'Neill by adding what time period? Uh, conferring. It's night, right? Night shift and long journey into night? Yeah. Okay, final answer, night. Night is right. I clip linen. Instead of clipping linen, you can earn 20 points by rearranging this, these letters to name what antibiotic isolated in 1928 by Alexander Fleming. I'm um, conferring. Is it penicillin? Yeah. Okay, final answer, penicillin. Yeah, you're right, it's penicillin. Chimpanzee, weasel, pig. Which one of these animals is a primate? Conferring, it's chimpanzee. Yeah, final answer, chimpanzee. Yes, it is, chimpanzee. Do not run a campaign that would embarrass your mother. <laughs> this advice to political candidates was delivered by a former senator from what Appalachian state whose capital is Charleston? Oh, conferring, it's, I believe it's West Virginia. Do you guys think the same? Okay, final answer, West Virginia. Yep, it's West Virginia. Well done, Eleanor Roosevelt, you've got 200 points. Time for the picture perfect round. And in this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down, 10 points if you don't answer at all. Here we go, Loudoun County. This mountain is part of what Texas range whose name is joined in Hidalgo in the treaty ending the Mexican-American War? Guadalupe. Correct, Guadalupe is right. Given that this is a Fibonacci sequence, what's the missing number? One. One is correct. If you speak too much, you will learn little. But do speak up here and identify these words as a proverb from what country near the Caspian Sea? Its capital is Yerevan. Answer? In three, two, one. The answer is Armenia. Loudoun County, you've got 230 points. Hello, Richard Montgomery. Your chance to play the picture perfect round. Here's the first question. Hard at work here is what mythical figure who always had plenty to do as the classical god of metalworking and the forge? Hephaestus. Hephaestus, yeah. Hephaestus, yeah. final answer. Hephaestus is it. What is the perimeter of a square that has an area of 225 square feet? 60. 60, final answer. 60 is right. A child learns to walk by falling down. Great quote. And in fact, it's a proverb from what large Central Asian country whose capital is Nur Sultan, a city formerly named Astana. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, yeah. Kazakhstan. final answer. Kazakhstan is right. Well done, Richard Montgomery. You've got 260 points. Eleanor Roosevelt, your turn to play the picture perfect round. Here's the first question. This is a detail of an 18th century painting titled Jousting on what river that runs through Rome? Conferring. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I know the Rubicon is a famous river that has to do with Rome, but I'm not sure. Do you guys have any ideas? I confer. I do need an answer. Okay, final answer, Rubicon? No, the answer is the Tiber River that runs through Rome. Evaluate this expression for nine factorial divided by seven factorial, giving your answer as an integer. Conferring. Michael, do you have any idea? 72. 72 is right. The old man gives the best advice. Well, my best advice is to identify this as a proverb from what African country whose capital is Harare? Um, conferring, I'm not exactly sure. Do y'all have any idea? Need an answer in three? We'll pass. The answer is Zimbabwe. 
You have 190 points, Eleanor Roosevelt. Well, it's time to meet the coach from Loudoun County High School, Caroline, who came along with you. We have our amazing coach and calculus teacher, Mrs. Hefty, with us today. Well, hello, Mrs. Hefty. Tell us about your team. Well, I'm so happy to be here supporting my team crazy, as Cameron said, for another year. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, now it's time for the packet round. As you know, in this round, questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer. And there is a 25-point bonus if you get all the questions right. First question, Loudoun County. Most birds can fly, but what legendary bird rises from its own ashes and gave its name to the capital of Arizona? Phoenix. Phoenix? Yeah, it's Phoenix. The pharaoh Ptolemy V is remembered today because he's described on what carved stone that was the key to Egyptian hieroglyphics? Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone, Rosetta stone it is. Here's your science question. Rhizome vein stomata. Which of these is not a part of the leaf blade? Stomata. No, the answer is rhizome. Sorry about that. Next question. Sir Walter Herschel was a professional musician practicing astronomy in his spare time when he discovered what planet seventh from the sun? Uranus. Yeah, it's Uranus. Nice. Rags to Riches is a classic literary device, but Mark Twain wrote about rags and riches in what novel about a boy named Tom Canty who changes places with a king's son? Answer? Prince and the Pauper. Yes, you got it. Prince and the Pauper is right. Here's your math question. What is the value of X in this equation? 29. Yeah, 29, fast. The first US president who was born in the 20th century was what 35th chief executive, a Massachusetts Democrat who won the 1960 election? Kennedy. Yeah, it was John F. Kennedy. Well done, Loudoun County, 350 points. It's time to meet the coaches and the alternate from Richard Montgomery High School. Abhinav, who's along with you? Our two wonderful co-sponsors, Dr. McDonald, who's a math and economics teacher at RM, and Ms. Gallen, who's a math teacher. And joining us today as well is our awesome teammate, Amanda, who is our alternate. And Mr. McDonald, why don't you tell us something about this fine team? I'd like to say just how proud I am to have uh, these students representing RM. We're just happy you're here. All right, team, it's time for the packet round. Richard Montgomery, you know how it works, so let's just dive in. Here's your first question. Few tourists visit San Antonio without going to see what mission side of a fierce 1836 battle with Mexican forces? The Alamo. Alamo. Alamo, final answer. Yep, it's the Alamo. The year 1941 marked the completion of the four presidential faces on Mount Rushmore. Now the biggest tourist attraction in what state whose capital is Pierre? South Dakota. South Dakota. Yeah. South Dakota, final answer. Yes, it's South Dakota. Here's your science question. Piezoelectric effect, thermoelectric effect, photoelectric effect. The sound waves that are used in sonar systems are produced by crystals that vibrate when an alternating electric field is applied to them. This effect is known by which of these names? Isn't it piezo? I, I believe I it's, it's, yeah, piezo. I think it's piezoelectric. Piezoelectric final? It is piezoelectric. Having made the mistake of angering Zeus, what mythical titan was condemned to spend eternity holding up the heavens with his shoulders? Atlas. Atlas. Yeah, Atlas. Atlas, final answer. It's Atlas, yes. Joseph Stalin was sometimes called Uncle Joe, but what two-word familial name did George Orwell give his fictional dictator in 1984? Big, Big brother. brother. Big Brother. Yeah, it's Big Brother. Here's your math question. Given that lines A, B, and CD are parallel. How many degrees are there in angle X? 140. 140, yeah. Okay. 140 degrees, final answer. 140 is right. What New Yorker served as U.S. Senator, Secretary of State, and Vice President before becoming our eighth president? Martin uh, Van Buren. Yeah, yeah. 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 Martin Van Buren, uh, final answer. Martin Van Buren is right. Well done, Richard Montgomery. You have that 25-point bonus, woo, and 425 points. 
Time to meet the coach and principal from Eleanor Roosevelt High School, Abigail, who's with you. Today we have our coach, Mr. Levy, and our principal, Mr. McNeil. Mr. Levy, why don't you enlighten us about your fine team? We have a great team. Uh, it's been definitely a challenge working over Zoom, but it's definitely been fun. Well, it's really good to have you with us. And now, of course, it is time to begin the packet round, Eleanor Roosevelt. Here's your first question. The Arkansas River ends in Arkansas, but it begins in what Rocky Mountain state that's home to the Air Force Academy? Inferring um, Rocky Mountain, I think it's Colorado. Uh, is that what you guys think? Okay. Final answer, Colorado. Colorado it is. In 1611, an English explorer was set adrift by his crew in the large icy Canadian Bay that today bears his name. Um, conferring, I don't know a lot of explorers, but I know Labrador, so that'd be my guess. Do you have any ideas? Need an answer? Final Please. answer, Labrador. It's Hudson, named after Henry Hudson, Hudson Bay. Here's your science question. Dendrite myelin synapse. Which of these biological terms identifies the largely fatty sheath that surrounds some axons? Um, conferring, I believe the first one might be a mineral and the last one is a function, so my guess would be the second one. Yeah, oh. I agree. Okay, um, final answer, the second one? Yeah, you've got it, it's the myelin. Going on a cruise with the mythical Karen might leave you feeling sunk since his job was to ferry dead souls across what river in Hades? Um, conferring, I know a few of the rivers. My guess would be the Styx. Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Final answer, the river Styx. You got it. It is Styx. John Barth's book, The Last Voyage of Somebody the Sailor, is based on the seven voyages of what particular sailor from the Arabian Nights stories? Conferring, do you guys know this one? I'm gonna guess Sinbad. Yeah, that's what I guess as well. Final answer, Sinbad. Yeah, you've got it, Sinbad. Here's your math question. Simplify this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Conferring, <laughs> Michael, what were you saying? Two. Yeah, final answer, two. No, it's eight. Oh. Sorry. Notch Cemetery in Plymouth Notch, Vermont was the burial site of what 30th U.S. president known as a man of few words? Um, conferring 30th president is Calvin Coolidge, correct? Confirm? Yeah. Final answer, Calvin Coolidge. Calvin Coolidge is correct. Eleanor Roosevelt, you've got 290 points. Time for the grab bag. In this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down, 30 points up or down for the visual questions. And if you don't answer, a 10 point deduction. Loudoun County, we begin. Eugene Shoemaker stepped into history when he and David Levy discovered what sort of celestial body similar to the one associated with Edmund Halley. Comet. Yes, Comet, like Halley's Comet. Political name-calling is nothing new. The Jeffersonians were called poison-sucking toads by what opposition party headed by Alexander Hamilton? Federalists. Federalists is right. Which of the following is a man-made element? Argon, silicon, or nobelium? Nobelium. Yes, that's it, nobelium. Here's your visual question. You live and learn. At any rate, you live. This discouraging quote is from what British author who cheerfully wrote about space travel in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Answer? In three, two, one, it is Douglas Adams. Well done, Loudoun County High School. You have 400 points. Richard Montgomery, your chance to play the grab bag round. Here's the first question. Legend has it that French King Louis the Pious died of fright when he saw what solar event in which one celestial body is obscured by another. Eclipse. Oh, yeah. An eclipse. Final answer. It is an eclipse. In a reaction against the bloody excesses that characterized the reign of terror during the French Revolution, what R-initialed Frenchman was himself executed in 1794? Robespierre. Robespierre, final answer. 
Yeah, it's Robespierre. Choice. Is a millibar a unit of force, energy, or pressure? I think it's pressure. I, think, I believe it's, yeah, pressure yeah, sounds right. Pressure, final answer. Pressure it is. Here's your visual question for 30 points. A strange mix of poet, prophet, and gadfly. This was one critic's description of what American author who wrote the novel, The Bridge of San Luis Rey, and the play, Our Town. Wilder. Burton Wilder. Wilder, Wilder yeah. final answer. Wilder is right. Richard Montgomery, you have gotten every single question right for a score of 515 points. Awesome. Grab bag time for Eleanor Roosevelt. First question. In 1847, settlers in Utah rerouted a creek in order to irrigate the valley adjacent to what huge lake with a two word name? Um, conferring, Utah, would that be Salt Lake City? Yeah. Okay, final answer, Salt Lake City. I'm Salt well, Lake. Yeah, you're right, you've got it. It's the great Salt Lake. Nicknamed Gentleman Johnny, what British general found good manners weren't enough to keep him from losing the Battle of Saratoga in 1777? Conferring, I'm not sure about this one. Michael or Ryan, do you know? The answer? We'll pass. The answer is John Burgoyne. Choice. When water is heated from zero degrees Celsius to eight degrees Celsius, does the water contract only, expand only, or First contract and then expand. Conferring. I'm not completely sure, but if it's heating, I think it would expand. I do need an answer, guys. Final yeah. answer, expand. expand. It's first contract and then expand. Lack of money is the root of all evil. This was the comment of what Anglo-Irish playwright who would find financial success with plays like Man and Superman and Major Barbara. Conferring, I'm not sure about this one. Do you all know? So should we pass? Yeah. The answer is George Bernard Shaw. Eleanor Roosevelt, you've got 270 points. The scores are now official. We begin with Eleanor Roosevelt High School from Greenbelt, Maryland. Abigail, Ryan, and Michael, 270 points. From Leesburg, Virginia, Loudoun County High School, Caroline, Cameron, and Max, 400 points. And coming back for the playoffs, the gentlemen from Richard Montgomery High School in Rockville, Maryland, they played a perfect game. Abhinav, Gus, and Justin, 515 points. Awesome, guys. Please make sure you join us next week when we have Gonzaga, Washington International, and Rockville. I'm Hillary Howard. Really glad you spent part of your Saturday with us. See you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>